I don't want to let him go. Oh, come on, the wind. <laughs> Another little baby. Squirt, squirt, squirt. And you know, we've got this whole jetty to ourselves. What were people thinking? Have you eaten all the squid or have you left me some? Hey legends, how are you going? It's bloody windy uh, today. We're out at Stansbury Jetty on the uh, York Peninsula. I'll turn my uh, hat one on here so you can see I'm literally having to use my Shimano backpack to hold down my tripod from blowing over. I, li I got here, I put a teaser out, put the burly out, had a quick flick with the squid jag and I put it in a bag because the seagulls or the specific gulls were wanting to eat it. But we caught ourselves a little squid baby really you can probably see out here we've got a bit of a slick going from the burly bucket there's a bit of tuna oil in that i'm not sure if there's even a, a squid playing on the teaser here but my priority was just to get set up first guys so i could record something i really hope this wind isn't too bad i mean i've got the uh the dead cat on i've got the foam cover on this one and really I, i've been out for four sessions and haven't really caught anything so i just had to make what i could work there's no one else on this jetty probably no one else stupid enough to be out here today um, but yeah, let's get into it. We've got another squid. This one feels a bit bigger than the, the last one. Just bringing him in slowly. Bit of a squirt, squirt there. So while it's really windy sort of above the water and there's a little bit of, you know, movement in the water, just when you look in, it's actually quite clear. It's just another, it's a little bit bigger than that last one. We've, it's not too bad. Oh, that wind. And he actually, uh, he actually took that. I'd already had some weed on it and he still took it. Um, I, I hit the bottom a little bit. Oops, sliding off. Hit the bottom a bit first, uh, uh, reeling that jig in. So I had a bit of weed on the jig, but he still took it. So that's number two for the afternoon or early afternoon. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll just keep going, huh? Pity I can only sort of fish one rod at a time, obviously. Now we'll get that, that weed off. I don't know. That Look like there's a bit of tentacle on that too. There might have been a bigger one that dragged me down into the weeds that pulled off. Because it did feel quite big and then I thought it's it's pretty big and then I thought, oh no, it must be just the bottom. But there's actually some tentacle on on there. Let's give it a quick rinse. Loving uh, loving these Inku squid jigs. They certainly are doing the trick. The Glow Tiger today, for sure. I'm just going to put a half pilly out, sorry, a full pilly out on um, on my rig here. Could be interesting to see. Could be some salmon around. Who knows? Kingfish, whatever. Uh, it's just on a fairly short trace. But I've got plenty of pillies here from How's Your Tackle. Mel Spikes would tell me off because uh, they have been frozen and unfrozen a few times. So I don't use pillies all that often. Hence, I don't go through them. Yeah, we're just gonna uh, rock this out there in the corner. And it's sort of around the jetty. The structure's good. You never know. You're certainly not gonna catch anything on the big rod if it's not in the water, so you may as well get it in there. Put that on the ratchet. Uh, when I hear that sort of go, see what we end up with. Still got the squid teaser out there. I just checked that before and we're all good. I've had the, uh, the Inku squid glow tiger in the water while we're doing that just in case because you know again the squid can hang around the jetty and just with a squid jig in the water they can come out and grab it so always just keep it in the water and uh, we'll see if we can hook up again if the wind could drop about you know five five ten knots that would be great uh, but anyway we'll see how we go i mean worst case scenario with that pilchard on the float there that could be used as another teaser for the squid so just talking about my equipment, I've got the Shimano XT, uh, I think it's a 70, yeah, 702 medium light action. I think these are exclusive to BCF, I'm not sure, but it's a specific eggy rod. I've got the Shimano 2500, sorry, the 3000 HG Nasi reel, a 15 pound braid uh, with a 16 pound OCF leader oh i think that was one just got a touch i'm actually going to put some s factor on the squid jig someone mentioned to me that yeah the squid do actually bite better if you just put this uh, s factor just on the back of the neck of the jig where they tend to latch onto it so we're definitely going to give that a go as well because it means if they do latch on that once 
Apparently they taste through their tentacles, so once they uh, latch on once and they, it, you know, it has a scent on it, then um, they often will come back. We've had about, we've had the two squid from about four or five casts so far, so not a bad hit ratio. Hopefully we can, um, hopefully we can get a few more. Hmm. That was really strange. That went right under and definitely it had some weight, but again, the weight, was it squid or was it a crab? Oh, that other one's under two now. All right, let's see out here. Put that in the water. As I said, we'll hope that it is a uh, squid. Definitely feels squidish. It's not a big squid, but it's definitely a squid, I think. Yeah, he's just let go, that's all right. I'm gonna get the teaser out of the water. We know there's one down there. Oh, just lost my buddy. Float stopper, so that's annoying. Oh, and we've got him, I think. He was sitting on it. Look at that. As soon as I picked up the rod. Oh, now this is a nice one, guys. So there's a fair, I don't want to let him go. Oh, come on, the wind. <laughs> the wind. That's brilliant. That's a nice squid. So there we go, legends. Bit of teasing with the with the Tommy on the float. And uh, the Inku Glow Tiger just keeps performing time and time again. There he is there. I'm trying to get better at holding my squid so you guys can see them better. Um, very happy with that. We'll get it all back out there and see if we can't get some more squid. Jigo, I reckon, uh, really helped with that last catch because I was stuffing around with the uh, with the teaser and just had the jig in the water and I didn't even see it having a sh you know a pull or a tension on the line. But as soon as I picked it up and ripped it, yeah, there was the weight there. I thought, am I stuck on the bottom? And then I realised it was a, a good squid. So handy trick, S factor, back of the uh, squid rig, um, and you know they'll think it's a fish and they'll hang on for a bit longer, even though I wasn't uh, straight on him. We are back, and I have an another little squid I think I've only got him looks like by the one tentacle which is always stressful but uh, nonetheless the Inku oh come here mate oh my god this wind you can see how crazy this wind is <laughs> oh he just hey oh he got me <laughs> did you see that he actually pointed his beak down and squirted at me thanks buddy luckily he didn't get the camera or anything but uh, there we go guys I've never seen uh, I mean I've been squirted before but that he actually pointed his beak at me that's another one for the bag and a really good opportunity actually I was going to use the Inku rag but this little one was on the jetty nice little microfiber cloth so obviously someone's left that behind gone to a good home if you left this microfiber cloth in the uh, I think you got my face a little bit too. On the uh, Sandsbury Jetty, if you want it back, uh, you can get a hold of me. You know what? You know how. Um, cool. It's nice to be uh, nice to be back in the action and catching some stuff rather than the four donut sessions I've had. Hence why I haven't had a video for you guys for so long. I mean, I've got barely out there. I just haven't really fished yet. I mean, you've got one set of hands and the. The squidlies still seem to be uh, very interested in uh, getting caught. So, uh, yeah, brilliant. I think that's what, four? Three small ones and a reasonable size one. They all seem to be coming out of this section here between the two floats where you can see there's that little slick from the burley. I don't know, maybe the burley are firing up the, firing them up a little bit too, or getting more fish action. So they're coming out of their holes and, or well, down the bottom, coming out of the wee bed looking for the smaller fish. Um, another small squid here. Doesn't even normally they come up to the surface a bit quicker than it. Oh my god, it's a fair way out. This is a tiny one, but uh, a squid nonetheless. I think there's finally some people coming down the jetty to fish. Another little baby. Another little baby. Uh, I'm actually going to put this out on the live bait rig on the big rod. See if we can get something. Still got my live squid out there and the uh, mullet, sorry, Tommy teaser. Um, but I've uh, recently purchased this uh, uh, TT Rods Yellow Belly 3 to 6 kilo uh, two piece 7 foot 2 rod. Uh, and I did 
you would have seen from my Black Point video, if not you can look above, uh, say I needed to get some weedless jig heads. So I've got some, um, the TT snake lot head, uh, jig heads. Um, and we're just gonna uh, have a crack at this, see if there's something out there. There is a little bit of weed, so that's why I wanted to go the weedless. And given the wind, just wanted to uh, have a little bit of a heavier jig head. So I think it's about a quarter ounce. Just doing a slow retrieve to start with. That wind seems to be picking up even worse, so apologies for that. And I'm not turning around to the camera as much because, uh, yeah, I don't want to uh, get too much wind noise happening. Just doing a really slow retrieve. I paired the rod with this um, ITX 3000 high-speed reel. Been watching the Tackle Tactic guys on TV, on YouTube. I, what I really like about this out of everything is this really uh, rubber handle. It's really comfortable to hold. So nothing really there on the, the slow retrieve. I mean, this would be quite good for any snook that might be around, which would be fun to catch. So it's like the third or second time I've used this rod. Haven't caught anything with it yet, so I'm just gonna do a bit of a jerking motion now. Just a couple of flicks and then a slow, and then a uh, like sort of about a half a turn. This is what I was doing, the tactic I was using when I caught my last snook on Wallaroo Jetty. Just sort of gets it to dart around a bit, act like a wounded fish. The snook seems to like that. Yeah, so if you've um, fished Shans Re Jetty before, I think this is only probably my second or third time in my 40 year old fishing life. What else uh, are you going for? I guess Tommies and Gar. I, I, I've been burling up, haven't seen any Tommies whatsoever. I get, I don't know, is there any whiting around here, etc. Leave a comment below, um, keen to learn more if you know the area and maybe help someone else out that might be coming here on holiday or whatever else. Uh, as I said, we're on that incoming tide, so just working this soft plastic a bit, seeing if there's, you know, possibly, I don't know, probably too far out for flathead, I guess, but you never know. Um, you'll notice today I'm wearing my Ozfish hat. Um, I recently watched the Tackle Tactics uh, episode about what, how they're supporting Ozfish. Um, thought it's a great cause and to be honest, a three year membership was $65. You got a hat, you got a couple of stickers, you got some platypus, um, 10 pound platypus line, a $10 BCF voucher. I can't think what else, but I mean, you know, for supporting a charity and what they're giving back to you um, is pretty good. If I ever get monetized here on Facebook, sorry, on YouTube, it's definitely part of that uh, component is going to be further donations to, um, to charities like that. So we have to, uh, copped a bit of a shower and I'm about, I don't know, only th three thirds of the way back to the jetty, but now the, the sun is coming out. So, um, but yeah, so I think this area just between the rock, the boat ramp and the jetty, there's got a bit of weed on that because I left it in the water for quite a while. It's probably a good little spot. Uh, there is a few squid marks along here, which uh, is always good to see when you're looking for a few more squid. And it's a good spot because if I have to get off quickly with this weather, we can, because there's the cars just down there. So we'll come back when we hook onto another squid. I honestly don't know if you can see them, but right on the end of the breakwater, there's a couple of seals, or at least one I can see. That's where I was going to go out and fish. That's cool to see. At least they're not in the water trying to steal my squid. We have a reasonable squid here. I really hope that battery's going to last. So this is good. He's got it pretty well hooked. Just going to lift him up and out. Put him down so he can squirt. That's my first one on the Inku Gold Runner, which is brilliant. So that Inku Gold Runner Tiger, and again, I'll do the old hold him up like all the pros do <laughs> and give you a look at that. Awesome squid. Oh, look at that, guys. I've just put it straight on top of another one. Oh, did I? I'm sure that was a squid. It had that pull pull feeling. Might have been weed, but gee, I felt like it was a squid. Might need to uh, do the old trick. Is there any weed on that? There's, oh, there's a tiny bit of weed, but not what I would call getting reefed on the bottom weed. I'm going to put that S factor. I'm going to put the S factor back on here. So yeah, as I said earlier, what I've seen on YouTube or read on the comments is that they the hookup rate is pretty good with a bit of S factor and just on that back bit just on that back bit there that's where their candle 
tentacles tend to grab the fish and they apparently comment below if you think it's a load of crap but apparently they taste through those candles squid on this teaser now here you can see the fight going down so i've just got my other jig in the water here just gonna i've been sort of bringing them in slowly but steadily they obviously let go of the fish if it's pulled in too fast as he has there i think i'll just bring him back in a little bit closer he'll come back up to the tommy that's there and start as he is pulling it down under again it's great have a bit of a feed mate <laughs> He's pulling on it there. She sees big eyes. And what I'm going to do is just gradually pull it up and then just let my jig fall away until I see him jump on it, as he is now. And we've got him just like that. There's the ink. This is another good size one, guys. Big squirts, big squirts, squirts, squirts. Just let him have his fun. He's wrapping himself up. He's He's hooked right on the crown, which is fantastic. Now we're going to lift him and up and over. And, you know, we've got this whole jetty to ourselves. What were people thinking? Uh, this is the biggest one of the day. Again, on the, uh, on the Inku Gold Run, you can see it, that in the, in the sun. It just looks brilliant. Oh, this is about the size of the one I caught on Moon to Jetty a few weeks, a month or so back. So there we go, guys. He's uh, that good size. So we've got a few small ones. We've got a, I think we've got three or so larger ones now. I'm gonna have to, uh, it's got a fair bit of slobber coming out there. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, get him in the bag and let's get this teaser out. Get the teaser out and go again. You know, even like really close here in the shallows and when it is a little bit uh, windy, as I said, this is a bit of a, what do you call it? A protected sort of spot for these squid. <laughs> and I'm not gonna uh, be surprised if there's another one on that almost immediately. So I wasn't even sure if I had one there, but uh, it's not legal. So we just uh, went down again closer into shore now they reckon if you grab them by the the top and the bum they don't tend to wriggle around as much uh, there's a nice sandy patch between two weed patches down there but yeah nice little flathead not legal he can go back so i'm just going to work this um sandy patch here and hopefully there's a bigger flathead over uh, around here i think we have another very tiny flathead it is a baby. I mean, that's just being greedy. Trying to eat something that's that small. I mean, that big compared to how small you are. Is just... Uh, let's just not get spiked because they... So I hope you can see that. I mean, just to I'll get this out of him, just to put it in perspective, I mean, where are you gonna put that in your stomach? Just heading to the end of the breakwater, as I said before, uh, there's a few seals down here and uh, just gonna say a quick hello. Hello. Oh, hello. You're a bit tired. Are you a little bit tired? You're very, very look comfortable. How are we? And this one around the corner and a couple. I know, I won't, not here to hurt you. Won't be long. A couple of the younger or the females, three actually in the water. That's pretty cool. Now I'm just wanting to know guys, have you eaten all the squid or have you left me some? <laughs> I know, it's okay. So yeah, wow, that's pretty cool. I think if I leave now, a couple of hours drive home, a couple of hours and a half. Hope you enjoyed that. As I said earlier, I'm just really stoked not to have a donut session. Give us a comment below. I really do like talking, uh, talking to you guys, replying to all your comments, etc. Um, I reply to everyone. Even if you comment on a you know, one of my old videos, uh, I'm always uh, replying. 
And yeah, Sandsbury, I give it a thumbs up. I'll probably show you when I get home just what the catch does look like. Um, but you got the idea, mainly squid, obviously, that we kept. And uh, yeah, a couple of tiny flatties for a bit of fun on the soft plastic. Well, rightio guys, we're back at home and um, we've basically got our catch here. Try to do it the best way I can. So we've got four little ones. Um, probably gonna keep them almost for bait. Um, and then we've got the, uh, the three larger ones here at the bottom, one, two, three, that they don't seem to wanna. So there's the catch. I really hope you can see that. Not the best camera work. Because you've made it to the end of the video, You've, uh, you've seen me use the Inku Squid Tackle gear in a number of my videos now. And what I want you to do is to comment below on uh, your favorite squidding destination and or egging destination and which color uh, of the Inku squid jigs you like best. Now, I haven't got the Red Devil here. Well, I do, but this is my last one left. So we've got the Red Devil which is the, the red foil. We've got the Glow Tiger, and then we've got the Gold Runner. Two lucky winners are gonna win one of these packs, double packs, a Gold Runner and a uh, Glow Tiger. Um, all you need to do is comment below, tell me what's your favorite squidding destination and which color of the Inku squid jigs uh, you think is probably the best for you or the one you like the best um, between the, the, uh, the Red Devil the Gold Runner or the Glow Tiger. Comment that below. You don't even need to be a subscriber because I believe that's against the rules. It's only open to Australian residents. I won't ask you for money. I won't ask you for your credit card. I will contact you on the comment. It'll be Matt's Fishing Escapes. Um, don't fall for any scams. Hopefully I'm too small a channel to even rate on the scam meter. Um, and uh, what I'll need you to do uh, if I select you is to send me a screenshot of yourself logged into uh, logged into your YouTube account to prove that that's you. And then what I'll do is I'll post these out to you anywhere in Australia. As I said, unfortunately for those uh, few viewers that I have uh, overseas in the US and India and a few other places, um, yeah, posting these is probably a bit cost prohibitive, um, but for Australians, we'll, we'll get it out to you. So comment below um, and uh, I'll look forward to announcing the winner a week from the date of posting the video. Thanks everyone for your support. Really loving it. Catch you next video. Uh, oh, whoa. Oh. Ah! This feet wind is ridiculous. <laughs> ah, he did get me, bastard.